Hey guys, it's your girl Risa coming to you today. Um, this is gonna be in like a vlog, so I'm getting ready to get my stuff started for my curry chicken. And I have one medium onion and I have a large onion. The medium onion I'm going to cut up along with um, a red bell pepper. I'm gonna use a green bell pepper and an orange bell pepper cut up. And then I'm going to put in my char chopper the same thing, the large onion and the peppers. Okay, now I have some here of just um, orange and um, a little yellow and red peppers in here. I got to fill my jar up and this is my garlic. Okay, so what I like to do is um, buy the peeled garlic in the bag or if I can find a, a large container. And I put it in my chopper, and then I will uh, blend it up for different meals and keep it in these airtight containers in the refrigerator. So I do that with my garlic, and then I do a celery and onion mixture. I do a bell pepper, all bell pepper. Then I do a bell pepper um, and onion and garlic mixture, and then I do an all garlic. So, and I use those for different meals or recipes, however you want to say it. So this is going to be for my chopped that I'm just going to throw in the pot. I like to season in layers and I do have uh, videos of me doing curry chicken. Um, I've also done curry turkey necks, uh, curry neck bones where we use pork and beef neck bones. And uh, yeah. So we got this. Let me get my bowl. Ooh, I'm sliding, y'all, in the kitchen. Low wet. <laughs> I just did a jig. I almost did the split. I ain't did that in what? 30 years. <sighs> yes, ma'am. So we're just going to, we're not going to worry about separating it. Just gonna put it all in here because it's going in the pot. All right, so that's that one. So today is um, my aunt's funeral, and this is my grandmother's sister. She was the baby sister um, from her mother, but they have a living sister um, that her dad had, you know. So she's, but all of my my grandmother's sisters and brothers from her mother and dad are all gone. She was the last one. And then that's something. The baby sister ended up being the last one. The oldest sister passed last year. And Connie. And the baby this year. So... This is gonna be for the repass. And this is what my mom asked me to make with the mixed vegetables and the cabbage, the seasoned vegetables and cabbage, okay? All right, so now we're gonna go ahead with this onion Get it um, peeled and cut up. Okay. And I'm going to put this in my chop. My blade is all the way down. 
and this little chopper that I have, um, I believe this was a gift to me. And I, until a few months ago, just realized that it's a KitchenAid chopper. Isn't that awful? And this thing works really well. I use it for making breadcrumbs. Um, you know, it's just that strong. But if I need a, a lot of it, if I, if I don't feel like doing, um, if I don't feel like doing a lot of batches, I won't use it. You can fit a okay amount in this chopper. And I'm sorry if y'all can't hear me. I got the um, dryer going in the background. So we're going to get as much in here as we can. Blend that up. Put it in. Turn it to lock it. Make sure it's in there squeeze it out. Okay. This is one of the best gifts or gadgets you can get for yourself in the kitchen my opinion okay this back in. Make sure you keep your hands away from the wet sockets, y'all. Or keep your hands dry at all, if at all possible. i never forget, I was doing my feet one day, y'all, and I went to, I had my foot still in the water, and I went to unplug and shock the mess out of myself. Oh, did it scare me. I have never felt electricity go through my body before that thing it had me discombobulated for hours it did oh i was so scared i started crying for real i was crying because i i could have been gone for real my foot my whole foot was in that thing oh hush your mouth Thing scared me so bad. And I don't even know how Galen got in the room, but I don't I don't remember calling him or he just happened to walk in or he was already I don't remember. But he was like, baby, and I was like, oh, I was panicking something terrible. Y'all know I already have irregular heartbeats. And baby, <laughs> that was, I, I promise y'all, I know I ain't the sharpest crayon in the box, but it just didn't dawn on me. It didn't dawn on me. It didn't take your foot out. Because um, I just was going to pull on the, I don't know how my hand ended up touching the, the outlet. I don't know what it did. And now, if a lot of times, if my hands wet, especially because I have 
and maybe it was the the um the plug i had because it's one of those multi-outlet things you plug into an outlet maybe because it was that i don't know so good oh oh my word it's amazing how you change over the years because there's no way y'all i would eat bell peppers even in my cooking when i was younger all i cooked with was onion i never used garlic didn't use garlic either. Okay. Run some water in there. Okay. While I'm doing this, I'm going to let that soak. That's one of my pet peeves is to put something in the, um, in the sink that had all that material on it oh i have to let all the water out and start over can't do it all right here we go we got that we have our garlic now we're gonna season our chicken And y'all know garlic is very strong. It's in this airtight container, but I can still smell it through it. I can. <laughs> I can still smell it. So that's why I put it in that plastic bag. And I like how this has an opening at the bottom. You just wrap the cord up. And I put it on my little tray. Okay, so here's my chicken. I have chicken thighs, drumsticks, and a few wings in here. Um, I did do the boneless, skinless, because I found only the ones, the regular thighs. So what I did was took the skin off and um, left some of the fat. That fat, uh, yeah, is <laughs> good, okay? So what I'm going to do is, let's see. I'm going to mix it up in this pan to season it. I don't know what I was thinking about with uh, all of that. But I'm going to grab a glove because I can. Because I am good for doing things with my hands, so... Some things I can be squeamish about, but I try when I'm cooking. Even with like chicken, I know it grows some people out to touch it, but that's how I can find out. Not only just by touch, but by smell. If you have chicken that's not bad, it shouldn't be slimy at all. It shouldn't be. But you know, that happens sometimes. Okay, before you put that in that pot, look over your meat again. Okay. There we go, all right. This is how much, let's see. I'm gonna drain this though, because it's got some water in the bottom. Okay. 
so I can season in both of these containers. Take a few of these wings from down here. All right, we got a good amount in each container. All right, let's take these gloves off and we're gonna get to seasoning. And I'll put my gloves back on, or maybe I won't, um, when I get ready to um, season it. Let's see, can I reach it without knocking everything down? Nope. <laughs> nope, I can't. So this is curry powder. It's, it's, it said Indian curry on the package, okay? And let's see how much am I gonna use. We're gonna use a fourth of a cup to start, okay? We're just gonna sprinkle it. Okay, all of this is going in the same pot. So I did two of the one fourth cup. All right. I'm going to do. Let's see. Let me slide y'all up a minute. Let me see. Can I find my? I should have had these things out. But y'all know that's how backwards I am. That's a third of a cup. Where is my big spoon? I'm gonna do it like I do. So I take a a spoon, which is what a soup spoon, tablespoon. Rinse that off, and that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna do two of these of the green bell peppers, one, two in each container, one. Two, okay, and then oh, I'm making a mess. One and one, okay. Yes, my table is clean. I clean it off with some bleach. Yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. All right, so let's see, here we go. I did one and one. One, let's do two in this one. Okay. And one, all right. Now, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna use some, this same spoon And I'm going to use, I have, it's by Ultra Reels. Now, you can use any kind of um, meat seasonings that you want. This one is kind of like a complete seasoning, okay? But it's by Ultra Reels. And I find this um, on Amazon now. I used to find it in my local Rose, which is like a Food Lion, uh, which is an IGA store. But I haven't been able to find them, so I have to order them off of Amazon. So, I'm going to use Combo Seasoning. Let's use this um, fourth of a cup. So I'm going to do a fourth of a cup of that. And I'm going to sprinkle just this amount in each one. Okay. This is how I like to season. Because some of these seasonings that I'm going to use may have the same thing in them. And then I, my all-time favorite is the Ultra Reels Oxtail Seasoning. And on that one, I'm going to use the third cup. Hold on. Man, this smells good. So I'm going to do two of these. Okay. This is the one you want to get all over everything. Okay, one for that. 
It's about to make me sneeze, y'all. Hold on. <coughs> <coughs> Woo! That bad boy's strong. Thought I was gonna sneeze. Hold on, it's coming. Ah! <coughs> uh. Wash my hair. Ooh. Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna sprinkle this in here. All right, that's the oxtail season. And then by Ocho Rios, I have curry powder. Now these curries are seasoned this differently, so this is a third cup. Okay. I like my food well seasoned, y'all. I do, I do, I do. Not salty, but seasoned. And then have the meat and stew by Ocho Rios, okay? just the way I like to do it. So all y'all y'all don't have to do this. Y'all can use whatever seasoning you want. And this is the third cup. Okay. All right. I love these measuring cups, y'all. They magnetic. You can turn it upside down. Look at that. I found them at Walmart. Uh-oh. I gotta let that dry out before I put it back on there. Because I don't need my seasonings wet. Uh-oh. I'm knocking everything down. Okay. Here is the one and a half cup. Okay, and they attach like that. All right, so we got all of that. Now we're gonna do onion powder. And I'm going to do two of the third cup of onion powder. Because I like onion powder. Okay. And we're going to do a Let's see. What is we going to do? You're welcome, sir. Damn, they look good. <laughs> and I'm going to do a. I ain't talking about the food. Oh, okay. A tablespoon of salt. Okay. Now, you might think a tablespoon is a lot, but I want you to think about. We're going to add liquid to this. Well, there's going to be a liquid that comes from cooking all of this together, okay? I'm not going to add any liquid, like water or anything. It's going to form in the bottom of the pan. And um, I have a sauce that I add, and I'm going to add salsa to this as well. I know it might not be traditional, but that's how cooking is, you guys. You cook it the way that you like it, all right? So what I'm going to do is get my pan heated up. I'm going to put my glove on and go ahead and mix this up. Because my that curry powder is going to turn my hands cold. Okay. 
just move these. massage it in there. You see, that's the one good thing about making sure you drain all the liquid off. It's not any, or not a lot in the bottom. So you see how this is coated? This is the way you want to do it. Well, the way I like to do it. Okay? And you get that from the bottom and massage that. Because see, everything that's in this pan, the drip is in the bottom, it's going to go in our pot. So nothing is going to be left behind. I think I'm going to be in trouble, y'all. Because my family going to come here and smell this, and yeah. I haven't made any for us. Oh, my goodness. Yep, I forgot. Yeah, I didn't think about that either. Mama, you didn't make a pot to stay to the house? Yeah. Trying to be nice. I, I didn't think about it. Well, it's still not too late. Never too late. Because I need to get this done, hopefully, by 11 o'clock. And it is 8.41. You better be ready. A couple hours. And drop it off at 11. The funeral starts at 11, so I'm going to drop it off. Mm -hmm. It's a graveside service. So hopefully it won't be a long process. Y'all know funerals can take a long time. I'm not sure how they do in COVID times, but. You know. Okay. All right. Come on off of that. We got that. My little garbage cup. Uh, what I'm gonna do is um, slide y'all back a little bit. Okay. And we're gonna turn you around to the pot. Don't mind the other pot. That's my juice for my stuffed turkey next. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. Okay. I am going to use a little, uh, a little bit of grapeseed oil in the bottom of my pan. Okay. Because that, that's a high heat oil. And I'm going to use a little bit of vegetable oil in combination with that. Okay, I'm not frying this, but I like to have a little oil. Okay. Sometimes my pots can stick, and so I put a little oil me out all right here we go my pan is on high I'm gonna start to turn it down and I'm gonna put some of the thighs down bone side down first some of these in layers. I may need to cut up another onion because I like a lot of onion. This is going to cook down for real. So let me go and get this in here.
See, you know, whenever you fry something and you add your meat to your pot, if you add too much, it'll start to boil, right? Well, that's what I want to happen here. I don't want it to fry, but I want it to kind of like stew it, boil it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna scrape all of that in the way. Let's get all of these in here. Find another feather. So I have my pot on medium high. Now, I don't need to add any more garlic because these drippings that's in these pans has the garlic, the bell peppers, the onions, all of that, okay? Now, if you want to stew some chicken, you can do it the same way. Season it, layer it, and keep it moving. Let's get all this in here. All my bell peppers and onions. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? Hold on. Let me get another, um, I'm gonna use the same bowl. Hold on. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna mix this with my salsa and then pour it in there. This is a paste. That's a good paste right there. So that's coming along. Here's my salsa. And I'm gonna add one and a half cup of salsa, okay? I'm gonna mix it with this. One and a half cup of salsa. This is all the seasonings that was in the bottom of that pan. And this is my finishing sauce. This is what I, you know, curry can be strong and this is what helps balance it out to me. Otherwise, I don't like to eat curry. And this is, let's see, the third, the third cup. I'm gonna do third cup of this okay that's um, roasted pineapple and habanero you know it's gonna give it a little kick okay all right this is going in Okay. Get some 
that down to the bottom. meat see that meat there that thigh that was on the bottom you see it's not burnt because once you put too much in the pot it stops it from frying okay but it gives you that kind of like in between boiling and frying effect there's some juice down in there y'all mm -hmm. damn I, I, I can't wait till y'all see this finished look but she knows what she doing. She don't do it a thousand times. Oh, MG. It smells but, so good. Yeah, yes, yes it does. The flavor, she has, it's, it's perfect. It's, to me, it's perfect curry. Not just because she's my wife, but she, but she knows what she's doing. Ooh, we. Okay. Now we're going to leave it alone. We're going to put a lid on it. And I'm going to let this cook for about a, a good hour. But I'm going to check it like every 15 or 20 minutes and stir it. Okay. You don't really have to do too much. You just want to make sure that it's not sticking on the bottom. So you want to rotate your chicken just a little bit. Okay, stir it up just a little bit. Move those pieces around. See how that's got some brown on it? It's all good. You just don't want them burning. So the way they smoke it black. And that's going to all that flavor on the bottom. See, I don't know if y'all could tell. There's juice building up already right here on the side. There's water all the way up to here, and that's what you want. I didn't add any liquid, meaning water or like a broth or something like that. So I'm going to put a lid on this, and we're going to let it do what it do, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, this is batch number two. This is for the house, okay? So... I'm getting ready to do the same thing again, using the same seasonings, um, and we're going to get this thing together. It is now 9.53 a.m., and my first um, pot should be done at probably about 10.30, 11 o'clock. I'm just going to let it cook and go from there. So we got our two things of chicken. We got our green, yellow, red peppers, and our onion. I just cut up two large onions, okay? We're going to go ahead and sprinkle our onion powder. I'm not measuring for this one. So y'all got the measurements for last time. I'm just going to do how I do. Child, that don't want to come open. Onion powder. Okay. Oxtail seasoning. That little hard piece in there. So this, I cut up uh, part of a whole chicken. Mm. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. The meat and stew. The curry powder. That's the Ultra Rios curry powder. The combo seasoning, which is like a complete seasoning. Okay. My Indian curry powder. Okay. 
thing. And I think that's it for that. Um, now we're going to put our peppers in. And I'm going to use my hand. Juice and all. Go in. Let me get another spoon. I got a two tablespoon measuring spoon. One, two, three, four. Garlic. Two. Two. Okay. So that was basically a lot. <laughs> okay. We're going to sprinkle a little bit of salt in here. And I got my pan on low. I had it on high and I turned it down. Because this pan is not real thick. And if you don't pay attention, you'll burn up your food, okay? Let's this from the bottom. Rub it all over that chicken.
All right, y'all. So that's both pots. Okay. And I'll be back, y'all. All right, guys. So my food is done. As you can see. So I'm getting ready to transfer it to one of these pans. And I'm going to just take them out. Lay them in. They've fallen apart. That's why I got to be careful how I pick it up. Not that I don't want it to fall apart, but I don't want it all to disintegrate. Mm, mm, look at that wing. Just, ooh. There's a thigh. I may be able to get all of this in one pan. Just falling apart. Yeah, all this can fit in one pan. Now, looking at all the chicken that I had, you would have probably thought that it wouldn't all fit in here, which I did too. But we're going to get it. I say this pan for my other chicken that I'm doing for the house. Okay. So let me get my strainer scoop. Yeah, folks, and that's how you do our version of curry chicken. My Risa Richardson version of curry chicken. Let me clarify that. She put it down, you know, she answered the call. My mom asked her to make the um, curry chicken again for this repast, and she answered the call. The best this, way I knew how. Yeah, this is called um, being intentional. <laughs> Absolutely. And this scoop I got from Hobby Lobby, y'all. They 40% off right now. They have oh, different strange. colors. Ooh, we look at that. The family smells so good. And this taste is delicious. Of course, you know your boy had to sample it. So I'm going to sample it. Look at that. Yeah, that's a thing of beauty. Mm. That's good. Yeah. Making a mess. <laughs> It'll be eaten. Either way it go. Good. Mm -hmm. Nathan Jones. They can't say they don't have any juice. Because I filled it. And the thing is, it's a, it's a creamy juice too, fam. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. That you, thing you, is that, nice. That, that, that flavor is just off the chain. <laughs> so, really so, this is what we have. Let me move this. Oh. There's God somewhere. Okay, so we have our curry chicken and we have our rice, okay? Mm -hmm. Next, I'm going to do the vegetables, so y'all stay tuned. Right, so now I'm on to my vegetables. I have one large head of cabbage and I have four bags of mixed vegetables, which is the vegetable medley. And I got this from Sam's Club, okay? It has broccoli, green beans, carrots, red peppers, wax beans, and yellow peppers in it, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I have my, it's between medium, high, and low. So I'm gonna put one bag, two bags, okay? And I'm putting that down there so that they can start to thaw out, right? Cause I'm using them frozen, all right? Now I'm gonna add 
a layer of cabbage. And my cabbage has already been rinsed off. Okay. We had the greens and everything in there. Okay. Now I'm going to season. I have some Mrs. Dash original. Okay. And I'm not measuring. I say sprinkle about a tablespoon. Okay. Now this has no salt. So you don't have to worry about it being too much salt. The garlic and herb. About the same. Okay. And um, garlic powder. Okay. Onion powder. A little complete seasoning. And I'm going to add a little bit of lemon pepper, okay? Now, this has a little salt in it, and it's about, that's about a tablespoon, okay? We're going to add a little cayenne pepper. You can do away with that if you want. And I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Okay, that's a pinch for me. What I'm going to do is I have some uh, better than bouillon chicken flavor. Okay, I'm going to do a tablespoon of that. Okay. tablespoon of that and I'm going to do a tablespoon of well this is more than a tablespoon about a half a stick <laughs> of butter this is the kind of butter I use because I can't have the dairy okay all right so now we're gonna go ahead and layer again and do the same process all over again except I won't add any more butter Right. Two more bags. And then our cabbage. Okay. broke up okay and I'm gonna let that cook down a little bit come on we're going back in so you're basically gonna use about two tablespoons of each seasoning except salt that's garlic You do one on the bottom and one on the top. And this is dash, garlic, and herb. Okay. Original. A little salt. A little complete. Risa, why do you need so many seasonings? Trust me. She knows what she's doing. She's going to get it a million times. That's just and it the way tastes, I like to do it. It tastes so good, fam. Now, if you want just, you know, don't want all this, just use whatever. Salt. It so or a good. salt so substitute. Stick with your boy. Okay. You. She knows what she's doing. And there you have it. Now, I'm going to put this on medium high. We're going to cover it. We want to let it steam, okay? We don't have to let it steam fast. 
okay and i'll be back okay guys so everything is done here's our rice our curry chicken and here's our vegetable medley okay we have wax beans red and yellow peppers carrots broccoli cabbage green beans all of that good stuff in there i hope y'all love it i hope y'all like it either way thank y'all for watching it's your girl risa Ree. chat with y'all later happy eating today y'all bye sugar